Fox 5 Morning News at 7. Airbnb, Postmates, and DoorDash top the list of companies that could hit the stock market this year. Financial analyst Chase Wilson is here to talk about investing in these companies. Chase, good morning. Good morning. And as I'm reading those names, I start thinking all these questions like, well, the familiarity yeah. is maybe what drives people to buy stock, correct? Do you think that the fact that, well, I use Postmates, I use Airbnb, I should get stock? Well, absolutely. I mean, that's what drives a lot of people's investment decisions like, oh, I know that name or right. I use that service. And how can they not be successful? Right. I mean, everybody uses them. Right. So it's kind of that that comfort. And a lot of times people they don't know what they're doing when they're investing. So they just kind of look for a name <laughs> that they recognize. That sounds like what I just told you I did. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, so obviously the popularity, uh, it, it goes sky high when they hit the stock market. But sometimes reality hits and it's not quite as people expect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of times there's a lot of hype and momentum baked into these IPOs. Sure. I, I kind of say it's like going to Vegas. I mean, you can do very, very well in Vegas one day, and yeah. then all of a sudden the next day, you lose everything. Right. And I mean, that's what happens with IPOs. There's so much excitement yeah. around it. You could get a big winner, like Beyond Meat was a big winner last year in the mm -hmm. beginning, or you could get one like Uber or Lyft that go down. You, let's talk about Uber, because that's a great example. Mm -hmm. uh, last quarter, they lost one over a billion, a billion dollars. Yeah. What happened here? So what happens right now is, I mean, they're all fighting for market share. They're trying right. to get customers. So, I mean, they're really throwing a lot of money out the window, so to speak, to gain that market share, trying to grow at a very, very fast pace. Right. That's not a company I like to invest in. It can be very, very dangerous. So Uber is worldwide. Lyft is not, but mm -hmm. let's stay with Uber. Do you buy now that it's at 37? Or do you wait because the 52 week low is like 25 bucks? You know, I'm, I'm a very patient investor. I like to invest in companies that are that are stable, that make money. Right now, Uber, it's just too early in the game. I mean, really? you're, you're not sure what's going to happen. I mean, they're going to continue to divest businesses. There's just too much risk in Uber for me right now. Sure. As you said, it is still off the okay. IPO price as well. And, and I was talking about Lyft also. So they lost like almost 500 million. Yeah, almost five hundred five hundred million dollars. It's just shocking. But uh, and the current price stands at forty seven ninety six when the initial price was seventy two dollars. So all these people sitting there buying at seventy two and now it's at forty seven. This is why you guys always stress this is a long term thing. Don't don't get in, get out, do all that stuff. Well, the, the crazy thing with Lyft is there's a difference yeah. between the IPO price and the first trade. So the first trade that you could actually buy Lyft was eighty seven dollars. I mean, if you Ooh. bought that first price, Ooh. you're down about forty five percent today. So that's again why I don't like to get involved in the IPO market because right. there's a difference between the IPO and actually when that company goes public. Does that mean that it's just a high risk game because it seems like a lot of people sure jump on those IPOs? It's definitely a high risk game. Um, and, you know, as I said, it's like gambling. Yeah. And I don't like to gamble big sums of money. You know, you might go to Vegas, have a little bit of fun. Uh, same thing with the IPO market. If you feel like dabbling in it, don't put your big retirement savings in there. Sure. Be very, very cautious. Uh, so what's your take on DoorDash and, and Postmates of the world? Is it the same thing? I, I believe DoorDash and Postmates is a very similar situation sure. to Uber and Lyft. I have a hard time seeing a good path to profitability for these companies. I mean, Morgan Stanley did some great research on these businesses. Mm -hmm. Right now, about 36% of people are only loyal to one of those companies. They're, they're looking for the deals. Right. So about 58% of people said that deals and promotions paid played a huge part in their decision of what service wow. to use. Wow. I don't like that. And also they did this great survey saying two thirds of fast food deliveries were under $7. And at $10, they actually lose $3.80 for every order that happens. I mean, it, it's just a very tough landscape yeah. right now. Sure. I'm staying away from those companies okay. as well. Uh, lastly, I want to ask you about another popular app. And Airbnb, Hugely popular, but people are starting to get wise to how it works and then the regulations and every city's kind of jumping on this bandwagon and controlling short term rentals, et cetera. Does that limit the growth of a company like Airbnb? I definitely believe so. I mean, I, I think they have a little bit better of a story than Postmates and DoorDash in terms of a path to profitability, but the regulations really do scare me. And regulations, they drive up costs. You got to comply For with sure. all those regulations. And then specifically here, looking at people that may not want to use that app anymore as a host. I mean, Miami Beach they were implementing fines as high as $100,000 because short-term rentals wow. are illegal there. That was later reversed, but it just really shows that cities yeah. oftentimes don't want this type of service because a lot of homeowners, they don't want to be living next door to Airbnb rental. Of course. So I, I'm just concerned particularly again around that regulation 
for Airbnb. And we've seen those problems here in San Diego in several locations where there have been big issues with the Airbnb homes. Okay, so I mean, that's when we call you and say, so do I do this <laughs> or do I not do this? Uh, Chase Wilsley, thank you so much. Appreciate the insight. Of course, thanks for having me. Yeah. Your morning weather, sponsored by Curiosity.